Hello internet, I am wearing a hat inside today and my robe, oh, I've been wearing this all day because I feel like I'm getting sick and I don't want to so I've just been bundling up and drinking tea all day pretty much and working on crafts of course. So I want to show you guys today some step by the various stages of how to make a little scrubby pad for your sink in place of a sponge. So we start with this netting stuff. You can get this, you know, at the fabric store and I got a lot of it. You don't actually need all that much. I would say maybe like half a yard, quarter of a yard. So you got this stuff here and I cut it into four inch strips. As you can see, this is four inches wide. You take one strip and you kind of, you know, crunch it up so that you have kind of a strand. And then with my largest hook, which is a crochet hook, N 9mm, I just uh, crocheted circles using two lengths of this. So I would start with one and when I got to the end I would just tie the ends together. And that gets you something about this big. You can see sort of what it, how big it is in my hand. I kept all of the loose ends from the start of the circle, from where I joined the two pieces together and from the end because I like to use them, I tuck them in the center sort of as stuffing so that you have more weight to it I guess. And then after that's done I take a cotton middle worsted weight yarn and just do one row around the outside and it has to be cotton of course because these need to withstand water and washing and dishwashing and microwaving and all that stuff. And then after that I just start making a separate piece of, you know, cotton. With the cotton yarn I make a circle. This one kind of turned into a pentagon. So we take the back side of this and I tuck all the ends in. And you just put that right over. You can make sure it's the same size. Just put that right over and you single crochet the two layers together. And then when you get back to where you started, you chain ten to make this little loop, come back down again to where you started and tie it off. And it looks, the finished product looks like this. As you can see it fits pretty well in my hand. There's a little bump because of the stuffing and that gives me a nice little bit to hold there. It's you know flexible, you can fold it inwards or outwards. And because the, the yarn is cotton you can use the back side for soft scrubbing or this side for tough scrubbing. Um, I got this idea from one of Andrew's cousins because this is what she gave her um, her aunt, I think, um, at the, the family Christmas party and she was telling me about them. And according to her, these are microwave safe for if you want to do quick cleanings. They're um, laundry safe for if you want to do more in-depth cleanings and they're also dishwasher safe if you want to wash your sponges that way. So yeah, I think it's a pretty cool idea, and these are being made right now. I'm making this set for my niece, my oldest niece, who just um, about a month ago got her first apartment. She was living on her own before then, but, you know, she got her sort of first... She made another step, I guess, into the grown-up world, and I'm very proud of her, and so this is her housewarming gift, I guess, apartment warming gift. So... There you go. There are all the steps from the netting, to the crochet of the netting, to the first round of cotton thread, yarn, why am I saying thread, to the backing, and then to everything all together. As you can see, I'm going to make her a set of four. And there you go.